Hi. This is the YouTube channel for Math Contest Go Go Go. What I want to do for this channel is to build a platform for math lovers in order to make them discuss about different kinds of math problems. I will update a video about challenging problems every day. If you would like, please subscribe below. Now, let's begin. Hi, today we are going to talk about a problem which looks like this. So in order to solve this problem, we can list out some statements first, which is, we know when the number is n plus 63, it is going to be divisible by 60. So in this case, n must be divisible by 57. I mean, when it divides 60, the remainder is 57. And using the same way, I mean, in this case, another case is n plus 120 is divisible by 1, uh, divisible by 21. So n must be divisible by, I mean, when it divides 21, it must have a remainder of 6. How can we get that? Well, uh, so we know that 120 has 105, I mean, it has 15. Uh, minus 21 times 5 is 105, so it has a left 15 and 21 minus 15 is the 6, I mean, as the remainder it will add up to. So it is the first part. We get familiar with two ultimate statement. So we are going to combine these two statements up in some ways. Going to how? So what we are going to do next is we are going to give initial values like we try them. So we can find some patterns here. When this divides by 57 in here, it will have the remainder of 15. When it has the, when it is 117, it divides by 21, it will have a remainder of 12. So when it is 7, this, it will have a remainder of 9. So it, everything goes down. And you can find that n is equals to 237 is going to be the first solution. The best, the way is like, you can actually find the next correct number is, uh, what's that called? 657 by finding the pattern that this is 15, this is 12. The first one is 15, the second one is 12, the third one is 9, the fourth one is 6, and then it's 3, 0, and then go back to 18, 15, 12, 9, 6. But there is actually a way that in if this number, and then you plus the least common multiple of it. It will equal to the next number of it. Because it's adding a number that is can be divisible by both, so it will inherit. I mean the the I mean the properties that it has. So it's six fifty seven. It's going to be the next number. So in this way, we can find some numbers and we can start try whether it works out. So the first number, uh, we are going to add it up. I mean, 357. The first initial number is 357. 
and the second initial number is going to be 300. So we are going to test. Uh, So we are going to test it. On the first case is G great common divisor of N top plus 120 is 357. And the third number is going to be 63. So we are going to check whether it fits this statement. So when it divides by 21, it is 147, it's 17. So it requires the first statement and GCD 237 uh, plus 63 with 120. So we know this is 300 and this is 120. Okay, it actually fits, but it says that it is greater than 1,000, so it doesn't count. I, I just forget that statement, I mean. So we are sure we should try starting from 1077 as the first number. So we add up, 120 is 1197 with 63. So 1197 divided by 21 is... 5105147 okay it works for the first requirement and the second requirement is greatest common factor of this plus Oh, so the first statement requires, now we try the second statement. 1077 plus 63 is equals to 1140.
So we find that 1197 is div divisible by 63. So which means the first requirement is not working. So we try the second number, which is 1077 plus 420 is equals to 1497. 1497 plus uh, 120 is 1617. So this number, uh, we try it uh, against 63, which is 2126. 357. So it does not divide 63, which means it actually works out for the first requirement. And the second requirement is n plus 60. 63. So it is 1560, it is divisible by 120. So, so this is also not a correct solution. So the final one, the ultimate one we are going to try is 1917. Whether it is going to be work or not. So we try divide, I mean, uh, try to adding 63. Okay, this is not divisible by 120. So we try the second type, which is 1, 9, I mean, 1, 9, 1, 7, plus 63. Oh, sorry, not plus 63, plus 120, 2037. We try to divide it by 63, 3, 1, 8, 9, and 147. So which means that two O's, uh, the second requirement also works out. So in this case, 1917 is going to be the correct answer, which is every digit of it adds up to 18. So it is going to be the correct answer, which is C in that year's problem. In fact, problems, they have many solutions, and my solution is only a part of them. If you have more cha challenging solutions, please comment below. And don't forget, I will also post my problems there. See you tomorrow!